give yourself an April shower. I almost forgot my outro because it's been so long. My damn egg. I burnt my dang egg. My everyday breakfast, but I'm gonna eat it anyways, you know. We got other things going. We got some French toast, some female bacon. It'll all be fine, it's fine, it's fine. Monday things. Monday things. What's up guys and welcome to another vlog. Please excuse this, I don't even know what it is on my lip. Honestly, I got like a little pimple and then I tried to pop it and it kind of just didn't go as planned, but I hope you're all feeling gold and great. Welcome to another vlog. It is decently nice outside. I think it's like seven, between seven and 10 degrees today. Everyone here is doing good. The doggies are doing well. We have breakfast going on the assembly here. After breakfast, I shall take out the doggies, take them out for a little walk, and then get right into some Monday editing. I hope you guys have been liking the content so far. I have lots of recipes and workouts for you guys coming up. I just today, Monday, happy Monday for you guys, whatever time it is for you or whatever time you're watching this. Today is a Monday for me, and I just posted up on my channel a brand new workout for you guys. I'm going to start um, really trying, seriously trying to get a workout up for you guys every week in that same style. Just a compilation of about five to ten exercises that I do for any given workout routine. I hope you guys enjoy that as well as a recipe short. I've been doing lots of workout and recipe shorts, but please let me know in the comments if you guys prefer like recipe and workout shorts as opposed to like a full length or what you like how you guys feel about that because I'd really like to know for you know producing more content that you guys actually want to watch moving forward but yes I'm going to eat breakfast I will update you guys when it's all done and ready I got these really cute heart-shaped plates from Dollarama I just showed you with my burnt egg on it but you know um, breakfast we will salvage um, I'm sure it will taste just fine with all the rest of the fixins that are going into it and on I did re-bleach and dye my hair recently that's why it's looking super fresh and vibrant if anybody's wondering I used a different bleach this time that I will show you guys a little later on I do feel like it was like super more intense much more intense than my usual one but I think it's just um, a quality difference but I will show you guys that one other updates got some more of my Tarani sugar-free vanilla syrup just came in the mail today shout out Ariel for ordering me that from her Amazon Prime because mine is my trial is finished and I don't buy enough on Amazon honestly surprisingly but yeah that's what's going on for the day basically editing and then I will update you guys when something fun happens I will take you guys on that little walkie walk with the dogs and I will talk to you in just a little bit Brecky is served. I'm about to eat and I am so ready for this. Got my matcha, got my double stacked French toast here. And I have the recipe up on this channel if you guys would like to know. And of course, two eggs, half an avocado, and two pieces of pimo bacon with some ketchup. I'm gonna eat this and I will talk to you guys, update you guys in a bit. Guys, dinner is served. I know it's been a little bit, but I am back with some dinner, just eating now. Butter check again tofu, I call it, that I made. Made this one for this week's recipe. This one will be going up, or it will have gone up once this vlog is up. Feel free to check that out. This one is 
excellent. I had it last night, made it yesterday, had it last night, and the recipe makes two servings, so I had one for today as well. Super excited to eat this. I've just been editing. The time has gotten away from me. It's nearly 10 p.m. now. I'm just having my dinner. After that, I'm going to do just a slight, tiny bit more editing, and then I'm going to call it for the night, get to winding down. But I hope you guys have had such a great day today, and I will talk to you in the morning or in the early afternoon tomorrow. feeling gold and great today. It's a new day, it's the next day, and I just thought I would start it off by, or with, reading you guys just a little something, um, a quote from, or a segment section from The Power of Now, something I read yesterday, or last night actually, close to bedtime, and it sort of just put me in a really good headspace, so I plan to reiterate it today, reread it for myself today, so I thought, why not read it to you guys as well? But it says, if you find it hard to enter the now directly, start by observing the habitual tendency of your mind to want to escape from the now. You will observe that the future is usually imagined as either better or worse than the present. If the imagined future is better, it gives you hope or pleasurable anticipation. If it is worse, it creates anxiety, but both are illusory. Through self-observation, more presence comes into your life automatically. The moment you realize you are not present, you are present. Whenever you are able to observe your mind, you are no longer trapped in it. Another factor has come in, something that is not of the mind, the witnessing presence. Be present as the watcher of your mind, of your thoughts and emotions, as well as your reactions in various situations. Be at least as interested in your reactions as in the situation or person that causes you to react. Notice also how often your attention is in the present or future. Don't judge or analyze what you observe, watch the thought, feel the emotion, observe the reaction, don't make a personal problem out of them. You will then feel something more powerful than any of the things you observe. The still observing presence itself behind the content of your mind, the silent watcher. So I seriously love this and it got me, it just reminded me and instilled in me that we sort of have to think from outside of ourselves. We always have to be observing rather than reacting. And the moment we are thinking about what we're thinking, we, we reach that silent watching presence. And it really helps put into perspective and articulate best for ourselves where our head's at, what we're feeling, what we're thinking, and if those feelings are actually valid or if we're, we are, well, I guess all of our feelings are valid, but if we are projecting things onto a situation that aren't there, it's obviously, the most important just to be present. And I do need that reminder for myself quite often. I found lately, I don't know about you guys, but I found lately that I'm in my head a lot. I'm thinking, I'm overthinking, and this can cause me, you know, to, to be thinking so far into the future and to be thinking um, back into the past, you know, if I'd said this or done this or um, what have you. But the most important thing, the only thing that matters is this moment now, what we are doing in this moment. That's all that's ever mattered. The past is only the present in a different time and the future isn't created yet, you know, and it will be present when that time comes. So it's up to us to find comfort in this moment now, to do all we can now, to, to find fulfillment in this present moment, just to bring ourselves to this present moment and remain there because it is all we have and you know, it's all we can do with. I hope that has helped you guys as much as it helped me. Just that reminder to be self-observing, to observe ourselves and our thoughts, be always um, silently watching and observing what we're thinking and what we're feeling because that will keep us remaining in this present moment. And that is the most important thing and the most clear way we can direct our lives. So at that, I've drank my water. I'm feeling pretty hungry. When I wake up, I make sure to have a few moments for myself, of course, as we should, but I usually find myself getting right into emails and DMs and responses and checking in on social media. So I have done about an hour of that. Um, already so now I will go eat some breakfast and then get on with today's editing uh, what else planned for the day my mom is home today so she will probably take the dogs for their walk otherwise I will just let you know what else is going on today I hope you're all feeling great and I just thought to share that 
stuff about, you know, remaining present and being present as that is something I have been struggling with lately. And please let me know in the comments if you guys struggle being present, if overthinking and thinking lots in general and just responding to things has sort of been taking you over lately or consuming you more than usual lately because me myself, I'm usually a person that is very clear. I can observe my thoughts easily, but I've just found concerns or thoughts of the future have been sort of daunting and maybe weighing more heavy on my presentness um, than usual. So I found things like this, The Power of Now. This book is excellent. I always talk about it. Um, Eckhart Tolle actually, or Tolle. I actually found a YouTube channel of his recently where he does one-on-one um, -on -one interviews, answering questions and stuff. So I've been listening to that in my free time whenever I can. And that really brings me to the present moment as well and reminds me of those things that he speaks of in both The Power of Now and in this um, practicing Power of Now book. He has two. He does have two. And I have both. But this one I've talked to you about is more about the essential teachings and the exercises from that Power of Now book. So it will break everything down. So I'm reading this. I guess you're meant to read this first, but I'm reading this second. So I have, I have already read The Power of Now, one of my favorite books. Lead my life definitely in the present. I hope this has helped you guys and I will talk to you in just a little bit. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I'm gonna go make my usual breakfast. I really find that kick me off starts me off very well for the day roughly 40 grams of protein so hitting that protein off very strong love to start my day early with protein and keep that protein going on steadily probably noticed yesterday I do practice intermittent fasting I find that during the day I'm doing the bulk of my editing and work so I will eat early on in the day and then probably go about eight hours without eating and then have um, my big dinner meal and then a little bit of dessert afterwards. I do prefer to function that way. I've been reading and looking up on how food definitely and eating, your mental is working to digest the food after you've eaten. So to remain in my, my best clarity and uh, flow, I find it easiest to just eat that big meal first and then I have my brain working as I do some light work and then when I'm fully into my work I'm most clear all of my brain functioning and mental capacity can go to my work so that's just how I find works let me know what you guys' strategies are let me know if, uh, how you find intermittent fasting if you do it and I will talk to you guys in just a little bit back after breakfast and I was just thinking while I was cooking both while I was cooking while I was eating I was watching some Aaron Dowdy I don't know if you guys know who he is but he speaks a lot on mindfulness and presentness and he's been so helpful along with everything else lately over breakfast while I was cooking I watched a video from Eckhart Tolle or Tolle his YouTube channel I watched today I listen to, rather, the key to breaking from negative thinking, breaking free from negative thinking. And this is a big one. A few quotes I wanted to mention because these um, I've written down, I've tried to instill them in my head and remind myself whenever I am going through bouts of negative thinking. One that I noted and that I loved was this one, this quote, do I really know this to be true for diffusing negative thinking? So when a negative thought arises, thinking to yourself, do I really know this to be true? Like, do I know this? inherently to be true and the answer obviously is no we don't know this to be true it is just our thinking that's got us believing that it is true about ourselves thoughts are so powerful truly and we really have to hone in on our thoughts hone in on our mind like to be our best selves i've realized that and like even me i practicing the power of now practicing presentness the law of attraction you know thinking about what you bring about what you think about is what you bring about so your thoughts are everything like we are creating our reality through our thoughts so we are creating um like instilling positive thinking when we think positive thought thoughts and negative thinking and um negative situations we're attracting when we're thinking negative thoughts so repeating things like this do I really know this to be true inherently true and if it's a no it's an indicator that it is our thinking taking us over and then always of course I am good either way so whatever the outcome um, don't have any expectations remember that everything is bearable and that you will be good um, either way so I just did want to mention a couple of those I am going to get right into editing I'm actually going to update my Instagram story a little bit with some new things that I have coming. If you guys don't already follow me, please go check me out on their Instagram at Salad Gold, TikTok Salad Gold with the zero instead of an O. If you guys are interested in seeing more content, exclusive photos and things like that, go check me out on there. I'm gonna get right into my editing. I'm feeling good and ready to dive right into some work. So I will uh, catch up with you guys in just a little bit. 
realizing I just stopped the time on this clip at 333 so some super alignment there and I have been seeing so many angel numbers lately if you guys um, are like constantly seeing the angel numbers let me know down below like it's just assuring on top of everything else that even if I'm not feeling my best like I know that I'm aligned and I know that everything is happening like for a reason. Just that thought alone like is so positive and progressive. Yeah, just wanted to mention that as well, but I will talk to you guys in a bit. I did want to just pop in briefly and talk hair. I re-bleached and re-dyed my hair recently. I told you that I tried a new bleach and that bleach um, was gifted to me by a friend, Ali. She was getting rid of it. She no longer wants to bleach her hair, so she handed these off to me. They are the Schwarzkopf Professional um, Bleach and Premium Developer. I've never tried them before. She was just getting rid of them, so told me, you know, handed them off to me, asked me if I wanted them. I tried them, really liked them. I just found Found that they were super strong compared to the other ones that I use. What I've been using in past, I buy either from Shoppers or Walmart, you know, you can get from any of those sort of stores. I use this ice cream bleach and then I'll use just these developers from like Sally's Beauty. Um, I'll, I'll, I will get like a 30 volume developer, but I actually didn't have any 30 volume left and I had forgotten to um, pick some up when I wanted to do my hair. So I just decided to get rid of some of these other products that I had. So I mixed um, a 20 volume with this other 10 volume developer that I had on hand, which worked out excellent last time I used it and didn't feel very damaging and actually started to develop in like, 20 minutes like my hair was already developing whereas these more expensive products um definitely more expensive um and ali let me know that they were high end i feel like these ones definitely burned my scalp within 20 minutes my scalp was burning heavily these were it was really painful actually this treatment and i found you know i had some uh, thinning out but on a positive they weren't as damaging i feel like even though um these ones you know doing it this way and also actually using rue um i don't know if you guys can see that but it's Rue, and I usually get it at Shoppers Drug Mart as well. I've used that one in the past, or I just grab this ice cream one um, along with, you know, developers, random developers. 20 at least, usually 30, just to do my dark, dark roots because they're literally, my roots are black, like almost like dark, dark brown now, and I've dyed it so much, my hair's almost turned black. What I would say is definitely, like, a, the cheap option is super good, but I do have, like, um, you find that, str like, that nasty, like, stretching and damaging to your hair after Afterwards, whereas these ones will really really burn at the time and um, Won't be as damaging so that you know, that's always good and this is a 30 volume developer as well and a premium lightener dust-free powder bond enforcing premium bleach so have a lot left and I'll probably keep using those for the next few times and then toner wise I used to use like a manic panic toner but nowadays um, I have mentioned this in the last shower with me get ready with me I'm pretty sure I've uh, mentioned this before but um, I did used to use the functions of beauty brand line of hair products the conditioner and shampoo the purple shampoo and conditioner as I had bleach blonde hair and once I turned pink and started doing the pink I stopped using those so I've begun using Using these as just a toner process after I've done the bleaching. I'll wash my hair out with these products which are really great. Functions of Beauty is all natural. Definitely google them. They are excellent. Great things to say about Functions of Beauty though I don't use them anymore as I only have the purple line and I have pink hair so that would definitely not work together. But something I have been using sort of three in one and I found at Sally's Beauty Supplies is this I had never seen it before before um, I got it, but it is this brand called Enrage, and it's a color depositing shampoo. And I seriously love this one. Like this has kept my hair so vibrant. I actually, what I do is I don't even dye my hair anymore. I used to also buy a Manic Panic dye, but what I do now is I literally just put this in my hair and I'll leave it for as long as I can, whether that's a whole day or, you know, four or five hours, whatever time frame I can get. And it will, like it deposited all of this color and that is the vibrance that you see. And I've gotten so many compliments on it, on the vibrancy of my hair. And I found also with Manic Panic, although it's cruelty free, which I believe this one is as well. And also this is in the color um, Infinite Pink. Um, and it was on sale when I grabbed it. So 
um, I think it was like just under 20 bucks and this has lasted me like I've been dying my hair with this for the last three to four times I've been dying for conditioner um, just on the day-to-day -day, I use this one here and they've rebranded it It's the Mark Anthony 100% coconut oil and I just find that this one every time I use it like I have the least Amount of running like color running and loss color loss from my hair It is so good for colored hair and it's not even marketed for that It's to restore moisture to dry damage um, hair and promote shiny healthy looking hair with biotin but literally I feel like it keeps the color in so well so I just wanted to share some of those with you guys in case um, you guys wanted to dye your hair or wanted some tips on colored hair because you know I've, I've been keeping my hair this way for wearing my hair this way and doing my hair this way for the last probably six to eight months now I've really been going through it trying and testing different things but this is just these are some of the cheapest strategies that have worked for me and the best um, for maintenance I found hope this has helped right, guys so it's been um, a little bit I've done some editing I've done some posting and I just kind of wanted to first of all I have a question for for you guys how many of you guys are like self-employed or seeking self-employment because if any of you guys were wondering since starting YouTube I have fully dedicated myself to entrepreneurial work and developing a business if you guys don't know I go by salad gold on Instagram and I'm sort of working to build myself on social media between YouTube and Instagram. I have been steadily building myself or attempting to since I started up this channel. I just asked because I am currently, like since COVID, through COVID, I'm currently on assistance. Not afraid to say it and actually grateful, like so grateful to talk about it and to share what I'm learning with you guys. Like I feel like my only regret honestly is not seeking this kind of help sooner. I was unaware, completely unaware that there was a sector of assistance that you could receive specifically for self-employment and like self-employment development. I've just been switched over to this kind of assistance. I do it through Ontario Works and I found it like incredible, like so incredible. I'm able to, you know, take my time editing, spend my time doing the things that I love, creating content, building my brand. And then I have them send me like workbooks, like development workbooks, which are so helpful. So that's what I'm sort of just doing now to kind of, you know like just they give you actual paperwork and they give you like a few packages of this paperwork which is so cool i just wanted to suggest and refer it to anybody that is like a young entrepreneur or an entrepreneur of any age and like wanting assistance or wanting to know even like how to get started like they give you things like a budget like a budgeting page and you're able to talk to different representatives on the phone and they give you like assistance for things like equipment you have to buy to create content certifications you want to get like they they will totally pay for your certification, which is insane to me because um, like flashback uh, two years ago when I uh, first started or two or three years ago when I first started with this health and fitness and wellness stuff and wanting to share um, what I knew and what I was learning with people um, I had only wished I could afford or there was somewhere I could go to get assistance with getting this certification because these certifications if you guys know anything about them like they can go from six to two thousand dollars like six hundred to two thousand dollars so where was I owing this student debt and stu lo debt from student loans and OSAP like where was I going to find the money to do this so it, it sort of was feeling I was feeling like I was hindered from doing what I was really passionate about and getting those um, that backing and those credentials for what I was passionate about which you know is training and coaching and sharing my knowledge and teaching people with those certifications behind me I had already gone to school for five years I'm not gonna go back to school for uh, health and wellness and fitness like or nutrition that's like something nutrition is I hold so dear to me because it's something I've developed like my own habits for completely shaped my reshaped my body through fitness and nutrition and switching to this paleo based diet I'm just loving this um, workbook so far I can check in um, here and there or if I have any questions first section is assessing your self-employment traits so it kind of gives you assessment strategy it asks you questions it prompts you are you known in the community as a business prompt you to further develop your business and your self-employment so I'm like so grateful for this and please let me know if you'd like me to share any more from the workbook things that I'm learning I really do have like I had only wished that there was something like this for me to work at and on and build you know when I was at the start which like I have no regrets just only that I didn't start sooner and that I didn't seek help sooner but of course everything happens in divine timing made my own notes here but it kind of like I don't know if 
you guys can even see this, but it kind of like, it's like sort of quiz and questionnaire formats, which is really loose and fun. And it basically says like the first place to start is to consider where you're at right now. What are you thinking about become, why are you thinking about becoming self-employed at this time? It goes into the why for yourself and you can really break down like your reasoning for wanting to be self-employed. And I just think, Honestly, it's so excellent the way they do all of this. I'm of course still like within the very start and beginner stages of this workbook. Like the last thing I did uh, just last night was the entrepreneurial readiness questionnaire. So it asks you questions like, I do not hesitate to take a risk. And you, you say whether you agree from anywhere from completely to partially agree to disagree. Then it basically at the end gives you a score that you add up and it'll determine where you rate like in the categories. I love this and I'm so grateful for this and I wanted to share this with you guys or for anybody that is wanting, you know, to get their entrepreneurial work off the ground, like to get themselves off the ground. Just wanted to share this. I think I will actually end this vlog here. I hope you guys uh, are loving the weekly vlogs again. I'm really hoping to keep this going constantly. Last thing I wanted to end off with today, reading a quote from the 365 Health and Happiness Boosters book. I've been really thriving off of this week, especially positive quotes, self reassurance and things like that. So today's, this one says to give yourself an April shower. From living a sacred life, today begin your shower giving thanks to the water, giving thanks to the air that you breathe and standing in the shower. Imagine that it is blessing you. Imagine one or two things that you want to release. Set your intention and let the water carry them away. Continue the release process as you dry yourself off. And that's interesting because water, like I know to be so sacred and um, flowing, it's fluid just like we are. So I do love that quote. I love all the quotes from this book. If you guys are interested, I believe I have that linked in my Instagram bio so go check me out and I have a direct link to this book if you guys wanted it I know it's still for sale on Amazon not an affiliate link or anything like that just if you guys were interested it goes through every day of the year and it has like a quote for every day or something to boost you health and happiness wise so that will be all for this week's vlog I love you guys infinity and always and I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know comment questions anything below you know I love to chat check me out on instagram follow me on all my socials which will be linked below i love you guys and i will see you in the next one hopefully see you in the next one until then stay healthy fit golden beautiful i almost forgot my outro because it's been so long and i will see you in the next one bye guys